sit down, get comfortable, get the popcorn ready, and we're going live in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this uh, lovely, sunny autumn morning. Uh, and this is our live tour for, uh, to replace our open morning. One of the things that I talked about last night was giving parents that chance to visit the school and see the school in action. So uh, this is all live with me. What we have got is we've got some pre-recorded clips for some of our students. Um, and we've done that because on a usual open morning tour, we would give you over to the students to give you a tour around the school, to visit lessons and then see what's going on and around. So we're going to have some different clips as we progress through this morning. But let's get into school and start the tour. So welcome to our main reception. So this is our, our main entrance to the school. And one of the things that I do want to try and talk through a little bit this morning as well is just to show what school would be like, how it will be for you in September, but also just to talk through a few of the uh, amendments we've made, which is our adaptability and our resilience in working with the measures we've put in place for the pandemic. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to one of our amazing Year 7 students to talk you through their first few days at the Chalfonts. Hello, I'm Alexis. I'm in Year 7 at Chalfont Community College. I felt very apprehensive on my first day at CCC, especially as this was happening during the pandemic. I hadn't actually been to school for a few months, so going from a small primary school to a much bigger secondary school felt daunting, especially as I was aware that I was the only person from my primary school going into my form group. I was, and I was worried about me being alone. When I arrived at the school, we all lined up in our tutor groups while Mrs and I all greeted us all. Once we were being escorted to our form rooms and our form tutor introduced himself, I felt much calmer. Since then, I have enjoyed meeting my different subject teachers as they were all so nice. And I have made so, some really nice friends in the tutor group. I feel like I've matured a lot even in my short time so far at secondary school because there are so, uh, there's a lot of responsibilities and expectations to uphold. As the school writer says, success is an attitude. Therefore, if you have the right attitude and you make an effort, Chalfon Community College is the school for you. Thank you. Right, so what we've now done, we've now made our way into what we call our Year 7 Quad. Uh, one of the most important things about transition from primary to secondary school is looking after our students and, and helping people make that step. And obviously being in a small primary school and then moving to a larger secondary school, as is the issue with all of our students in Year 6, we work on transition uh, in a huge amount of different ways and one of the ways is to try and give our year sevens uh, their own space for them to settle into school and you know have this and this is the year seven quad so under normal circumstances this is where our year sevens would be based um, for all breaks for lunches uh, before school and to socialize and and be together so they're not worrying about the bigger picture of the entire school um, currently, this has been used by our year eights. So one of the measures we've changed and put in place is that we have got the year eights in this particular part of the school. And in the maths block, which is just behind us here, is where our year eights are based. So they're in their socially distant bubble and they're all in one safe place. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to hand over to another one of our year sevens who's going to talk about their first few weeks at the Chalfonts. Hello. My name's Aoife Parry. I'm in Year 7. My tutor is Miss Molinaro. She is, in a, she is a PE teacher. She's very lovely. I'm in 7K1. My first day at Chalfonts was very nerve-wracking. However, I soon met all my teachers, who were very kind. I love the independence I've been given through my learning. I have two sisters that went here, and have proven that if you work hard, you can always get something back. I like drama because I've always had a passion for it, and I finally get to do it as a subject. I never thought that I would like English or RE or Geography, but secondary school has made them impossible to hate. I was worried I'd get bullied, but I wasn't. Everyone here is so nice. 
I've made a good group of friends in four and three, four to three weeks. And my advice for parents is that you have one of the hardest jobs in the world. But if your child wants to be an actor, then you have to ask how you can help. I want to get a nine in drama, and I want to be as successful as I can. And Childhood can help me with that. Right, so what we've now done, we've now made our way into the main court. And the main court is the centre of the school. And it's a great big space, which I'm just going to walk you around in a little bit. And this is the other side. So this is where the maths department is. And we are going to go into some maths lessons in a little bit later on. But what we've inadvertently done is we've come across a year seven geography lesson who are working on world maps. So as you can see, our students are working and they're doing maps out on our main quad, which is fantastic, using the outdoor spaces and using the outdoor classroom. Um, so we're going to have a little wander now. We're going to walk into school. We're going to go and visit a couple of areas and um, carry on with our tour. So let's carry on. So we'll be visiting over the, the other side of the building and the school field uh, in a little bit and working around our, our department. But this is one of our uh, newer buildings. This is the Rubicon. And again, this is kind of a, one of the center points of the school. But what we're going to do is we're going to go and visit into our LRC. So let's go and have a look at our library. So welcome into our LRC, our Learning Resource Centre, absolutely fabulous place. And one of the things that we're using this for uh, at the minute in time is kind of some additional sick form lessons and uh, breakout spaces for staff. But we've got a full suite of IT equipment and obviously all of our normal wonderful books, uh, which is overseen by uh, this lovely lady, uh, Mrs Gilby, who looks after our library for us. Um, and one of the, it's just a, a great space to be. As you can see, we've got some of our sick formers using it as a private study area further down at the back. So let's carry on a little bit further. One of the things that I have been really proud of and really pleased with since um, we've been working together is that we've had a really good STEM agenda, which is the sciences, technology, English and maths. Um, we also have a real emphasis on the arts. So we, as well as the STEM agenda, at Chalfonts we call it the STEAM agenda because we have music, we have dance, we have drama, we have performing arts. And I think we're nearing the music department now, as we can probably hear what's going on. And music is a really important feature of the school and um, some of the things that we, we do as a school. This particular area, again, is part of you know the school building we have the cafe here this is important for our students believe me but we'll come back to the importance of the cafe and food obviously very very popular we'll come back to that but let's um let's have a dive see if we can go into one of the the classrooms morning miss so we're going to go into this is the band room <laughs> So these are our year 12. We always need a bit of Stevie Wonder for definite. Um, before we move on to our next part, I'm going to hand back to one of our year sevens to talk through their first few weeks at the Chalfonts. My first day here at Chalfonts, I was, in two words, nerve-wracked, but as soon as I walked into the classroom, it felt like home. What I love about CCC is that it's just such a warm welcome into this huge but home-like school, and with the stuff that I had, take it from me, I go, it was a good one. What I also like is that it slowly encourages you to be the best that you can be. So far, my favourite subjects are English, Art or Science. The reason that I chose to come here is that the moment I walked in here, I knew this was a school for me. 
The worries before I came here were just colossal. I mean, first you've got baggage, lockers, finding the way around. But, but for now, I didn't have that problem because we only stay in one classroom, the teachers come to you, and the lockers have been temporarily, well, locked. In six weeks I, I've spent here, I, I made six friends so far. But here's a tip from me. Do not be afraid to step up and say hey to us because we're not going to have a negative reaction to that. To any parents who are feeling anxious, do not worry about anything. Trust me, everything is going to be absolutely fine because with a warm and toasty welcome like this, you won't need to worry. And for any year sixties who are feeling anxious, you are going to be absolutely fine. And if you do have any questions, try and recognise me. And if you can't find and if you can't find me, find anyone and they will have a positive attitude. My aspiration when I finish school to become a pilot. Thanks for listening. We've left uh, the wonderful music area and we've moved into our Java building. Um, now, the Java building would normally be some English rooms and our modern foreign languages building. But this is an area that we designated at this particular time to our year 10. So all year 10 lessons are taking place within the Java area. Um, we've accidentally walked upon a test, but we can just have a quick look. So this is a, a year 10 business class who are currently having a test, but I think we've got a GCSE geography class here. So in year 10, all students will be doing their GCSE subjects, um, which we try and start as many as we can, as I was saying last night uh, at the start of year nine. But this is a year 10 GCSE geography class. Have a look. And so we're trying to do a mix of where we have classroom-based lessons and then we're trying to use our specialist facilities to take the option subjects out for those subjects that may well need them. So we're going to have a little wander on further now and go out onto the school field and show you some of the outside areas and try and get over to our cafe. So let's go this way. As you can hear, they're still going. Right, so we're now, we've come out of the building onto part of the school field. And what we've been has just been put up this morning. So this is a uh, marquee for the year 10. So the year 10 is where their break area will be. And we're trying to put some outdoor spaces and coverings for students because students are working hard. They have adapted to a new school day, a slightly amended curriculum. But need fresh air and we all need to stretch our legs even when the weather comes down so what we've had here is uh, some a uh, marquee for our year 10s um, and stretching further out we can see some of the school field as you can see we're working along next is we're going to work and we're going to have a little walk into our cafe but before we go into our cafe because I'm sure for our year sixes this is one of the most exciting things we're going to hear from our students Hello, my name is Eva and I'm in Year 7. This has been a strange start to the next step of my education as, like everyone else, I have been out of school for several months due to the pandemic. I was nervous about going back into a school environment, particularly from going, to, going from a school where there are only 60 children in my year group to a school where there are about 230 per year. I was also excited about coming here as the opening evening last year explained all of the fun things that we would get to do in our time here at Chalfont Community College. On my first day, all of my nerves went away as I saw as the teachers were welcoming and once I saw my friends, I remembered how important school is for socialising and learning. My favourite subjects are art, history and drama and I was really looking forward to these lessons. At the moment we have four lessons a day which means it's longer for my favourite. However, the bad news is it is also longer for my least favourite. My hope for the future is to be a teacher so I can help new children settle into, into school and achieve their ambitions and dreams. For the nervous students, don't be. By the end of your first day, you'll be looking forward to the next. For the worried parents, this school is great and the teachers will make sure all the children are safe and well, particularly through the changes that we are all experiencing this year. This is a great school and I absolutely recommend it. Thank you for listening.
Right, so we've now the larger of our two cafes, and this is absolutely great. So this is where we have our seating area, we have vending machines as well, and if we just move the camera around, you can see our staff uh, getting ready for the next service. So we have different year groups using each cafe at a different time, so we get the, the food served, we can get things cleaned down, ready for the next service. So our staff now are preparing for the afternoon service, which will be for the year eights in this area. Hello, everyone. There we go. And they're working away. Um, so again, it's a really lovely space. Hot food, cold food, snacks, and a range of soft drinks available for all of our students. Uh, again, a really popular place. Before we move on to our next part, um, what we're going to do now is listen to um, the thoughts of our head boy, Dan. Um, Dan has been with us for, this is his seventh year at the Chalfonts, and I was talking a lot last night about Chalfonts is a seven-year journey for the majority of our students, and Dan reflects on his time at the school and tells us about some of his experience. So over to Dan. Welcome to Chalfonts. My name is Dan McAvoy, and I'm in year 13. I'm currently studying for my A-levels, doing English Literature, Design Technology, and Spanish. I've been very lucky to be appointed the role of head boy as it gives me a chance to challenge myself as well as being a voice for the younger students that want a voice in the running of their school. I joined the chapel in year seven for a primary school in Beaconsfield with only one friend who is in another class than me. I used to be very shy coming from a school with just 60 students per year into a school with 300. Although this is very daunting, the small jump really gave me the confidence and determination to meet new people and make a lot of new friends. I spent the last six years growing up in the child ones, and every year it's gotten better. Once I'd taken my GCSEs, I had the option to go to a grammar school, as I did with very well in my GCSEs. So at the end of year 11, I was offered a place at a grammar school nearby, so I took a look at it. I started for the first two weeks of September at this grammar school, and that was enough for me to know that I massively missed what I had here. The teachers, my friends, the environment, everything was absolutely so much better here. So I came back to the chat one that felt much more homely and happy, and I felt a lot happier. Outside of the classroom, there are over 30 different clubs, ranging from football to swimming to chess. Joining a club was one of the best things that I did because I realised how much I liked basketball in the process, and as well as making so many friends. I also took on the challenge of the Duke of Edinburgh team. I already completed my bronze and silver, and I'm now focusing on the gold award. The Duke of Edinburgh award is a lot of hard work but it's so worth the time. It's enormously rewarding and a lot of good fun. I've learned lots of volunteering as well as learning a lot of new skills in the process. My advice to year six is to think of coming out of secondary school as the next stage of your life that you'll create endless memories. I'm in disbelief myself that this is my last year here. I look back remembering when I was listening to this speech exactly in your shoes and never did I think I would eventually become head boy here. If you really want to achieve something, then you must definitely embody the school's motto, success is an attitude. Finally, the one thing I learned from this fantastic experience is no matter what school you're at, you need to be happy. Otherwise, you won't be able to learn or reach your full potential. The Chalfonts is an absolutely amazing school, especially in recent years, and I'm so happy I came back. I will forever be so grateful that I was able to spend so long here and create so many memories that will live with me forever, as well as some of the closest mates that I could ever ask for. Thank you for listening. Right, so we've now left the cafe and we're outside the, um, what, the English department. And again, the English department is being used by all subjects, but the English department is specifically used for our Year 11 students. So that means all lessons taking place in the English department are for our Year 11. So let's go and have a look at some classrooms and see what's going on. One, sir. So this is, we've got Year 11 science taking place. Everybody seems to be doing more tests. Um, that's good. All right, sir. So that's one English. And then if we go on to the next one, this, I think this is U11 English. So we have our... Uh, year 11 English lesson taking place with Mrs. Hinge. Um, just whilst you walk around the corner, I think this gives a, a kind of a view of some of the other facilities and resources that we've got in the school. Uh, and as you can see over here, this area, because of where the year 11s are based for social distancing, we have also got a year 11 marquee for when that weather 
Kickstarter to challenge us. And our multi-use games area, our Mooga, always superb, great bit of resourcing and something that's used a lot by our peer department as well as the community at other times in the school. So let's go into this lesson. Okay, again, I think this is a U11 English class, so let's have a little dive in here. Why then, in Hyde is smaller? Year 11, Jekyll and Hyde, let's have a look. So that's where our, our Year 11s are currently. Um, so what we're going to do after this, we're going to move into our Shikara Centre, which is our, our sixth form centre. But before we do, I think it's really good uh, and important to listen to Beth who spoke to us last night. Beth, our head girl, and Beth has also been with us for her seven years on her seven year journey. So let's hand over to Beth. Hello, my name is Bethany Bowers. I'm in year 13, currently studying English Literature, Business Studies and PE. I've recently taken on the role of head girl and so far I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I've spent seven years at Chalfon and I can safely say it's positively impacted me in several ways. When I joined in year seven, I had little to no confidence in myself. Whereas you can now see, I'm in year 13, head girl, giving speeches with my utmost confidence and pursuing my goals for the future. Without the help of teachers and staff, I believe I would have been stood here today. The Chalfonts is known for being one of the biggest secondary schools in the county and with this comes many opportunities. Within my personal time at Chalfonts, I've done several things and made many new friends and experiences that I'll never forget. One of these being going to Auschwitz in Poland. This was a real eye-opener for me and I'm sure for everyone else who went. Something I would have never done outside of school. Another thing I can think of is the Crest Award in science, something that will hold on my CV forever and it was such fun. The range of clubs that Chalfonts has to offer is immense, so whatever you may enjoy, Chalfonts strives to highlight that as they know everyone has an individual talent. At the end of year 11, I had the opportunity to leave Chalfonts and perhaps go to a grammar school for sit form. However, when considering it, the support I got from the teachers and staff in Year 11, I didn't want to risk losing, and I can confirm they've been amazing throughout my A-levels. Additionally, support systems that are in place for all years, especially Year 7's transitioning, are amazing. As me and Dan, her boy, know it can be really hard coming in in Year 7, not knowing anyone and a completely different place. Chalfont looks to help the Year 6s and make them feel as comfortable as they can when they join Chalfont. As well as this, me and Dan, head boy, are currently going around to Year 7 tutors to let them know they have someone to come to if they have any worries and to let them know more about the school and if there's anything that's worrying them. I think this is really special because they get to know us individually instead of just hearing about us through a name. My advice to any potential Year 6 students looking to join the Chalfonts would be that this is an exciting new chapter in your lives. A daunting one, but one that you will look back on forever. Make the most of every opportunity you're given, whether it's big or small. And always follow our motto, success is an attitude. Right, so we've now moved on a little bit further and this is the Shikara Centre. Uh, Shikara Centre is one of our, our, our newest buildings and this is where we have our sixth form as base. And there's a range of sixth form lessons uh, of all different kinds of qualifications. We have our beauty studio upstairs, uh, business and economics and psychology, etc. And it also got a great space for a study area for our students. And this is a really designated area which is just for sick which give them the opportunity to use computers to work independently in booths or possibly work on on in groups at tables oh, 
pop in there later. But let's go straight into the study center. So come in. So this is the area for our sixth formers uh, for independent study where they can work. And so over the little tables, uh, and here we've got a great suite of uh, PCs and it's just a really nice space for them to work independently uh, as part of their journey through the school and it's really important to see that this is the kind of end point for year 12 and 13 when I uh, have been in the year 7 quarter which is the starting point so all of these students would have made that progress through the school all the way from year 7 all the way to year 12 and 13 and be fantastic ambassadors like Dan and um, Beth, our head boy and head girl. Um, we've got some music going in here, so let's have a little. Well, I think this is year our uh, year ten dance GCSE class, so let's have a little look. <laughs> And they, this is where actually now Drama Studio uh, 3, and we use this, it's one of our, our great spaces, it's got its own lighting and it's a fabulous place to, to work with our practical subjects. So we have dance, drama, performing arts, and the whole range of performances within that room. Uh, what we're going to do now is listen to uh, another one of our lovely Year 7s to talk about their time at the Chalfonts. Hello, my name is Kimberly Ball and I'm a 72 at Chalfonts Community College. What I like about CCC is that there is a wide range of sports and they don't throw it in. When I knew I was going to come here, I was excited about the opportunities CCC had to offer, both in the subjects and the extra activities. My favourite subjects so far are P and Art, although I'm enjoying most subjects, I love learning German. The advice I have for parents is do not worry about your travelling to secondary school. I have been homeschooled for the past three years and knew no one. And on the first day, I was so nervous initially, but I was fine and made great friends quickly. I know this is a big school, but don't let it put you off. The staff have a lot to think about keeping us safe from COVID, as well as providing us with an education and setting us into a new environment. But they have done a great job. In my future life, I want to be a zookeeper or a footballer, I may, and I may even decide to be something else in the future that CCC will help support the path you choose to take. Now I hope you enjoy your tour and I hope to see you here next year. Bye for now. Right, so we've now got to our learning support department. Now our learning support department is absolutely fantastic and the progress and results of the students that work with our amazing team are always, always exceptional. Um, let's go inside and talk to Mrs. Greg, our Senko. So this is Mrs. Greg, this is our Senko. Over to you, Miss. Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the Learning Support Department. Let me just show you around a little bit. Um, so over here, we have a therapy room. This is used by external visitors like speech and language therapists or occupational therapists. It's also used for some one-to-one -one teaching. We have two members of the department who are trained to teach children with dyslexia. Um, over here, we have two classrooms. These classrooms are used throughout the day. They're currently being used for assessments. Um, we are able to offer some interventions like registration, spelling and reading help, um, lunchtime um, support for pastoral reasons, and also we have an after-school homework club. Um, there's always loads going on over here. We have a fabulous team of learning support assistants who help support in the classrooms. If you want to look at our video, we've made a learning support video, which is on the school website on the SEN page. And also we're going to be holding telephone consultation appointments next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. There is a query form to complete on that should you wish to discuss your son or daughter further. Thanks. Thanks, Mrs. Thank Craig. You. Thank you. Much appreciated. Right, we're going to hand over to our final year seven uh, now to talk about their time at the Chalfonts. And then we're going to actually walk up and we're going to go into some year seven lessons and see where the year sevens are based. Um, it may be the same next year. It may be different, but we're going to have a little wonder there now. But over to the year seven first. Hello, my name is Kai Angton. I am a student of the CCC in year seven. My first day at Chalfonts, I was extremely nervous. I thought the school was so big and I'd get lost. 
However, the, te the teachers have been so helpful and friendly. I feel I have settled in well. My eldest brother, Max Harrington, came here and is now an apprentice with Mercedes-Benz. I have another sibling called Zach, who, who is in year eight, who is thriving academically. My favorite subjects are science, art, maths, and PE. My tutor is really amazing. She is very supportive and caring. I want to be a football player one day, so I can't wait for after school clubs to start. Thank you for listening. Right, so we've now come back into the building and we're going to have a little wander through some of the school. So we're just walking now down, and this is the back of learning and support. But what we also have, which is something that is really great, is the quad shop. And in the quad shop, it's there. It's got a range of resources, um, uniform. Uh, this is Mrs. Fadeep who looks after it for us. And um, quite brilliantly, in case you forget, greeting cards. I've used that service before. Uh, times of emergency. But we're going to wander in now. Um, and this is our other cafe. So, as you can see, this is one of our smaller cafes. This has got our service. Hello! And so that's the, our staff getting ready for the next service. So currently, uh, in a morning break, this is used by Year 11, and in the afternoon, it's been designated entirely to Year 7. Um, but we're going to wander upstairs now, and this is the Meridian area. Now, the Meridian area is usually, in normality, our humanities area, uh, with our designated geography, history, and RE specialists. Uh, but this is a great space for where our year sevens have been. Um, and as you can see, so we're now in the center point of the Meridian area, and we've got all of the classrooms taking place all going round um, and everything that is it. It's a really nice place where our year sevens are. So all of the majority of learning is taking place. And what we will do as we work through the restrictions and the guidance is start to get our students more into those specialist areas. Um, let's go into some lessons. So we have a year seven history. Let's go in. How could they know? So what have we done? What what have you, as my history detectives, found out? What have you found out? Let's go back to that very, very first slide. So. History detectives. Um, let's try another classroom. Yes, sir. Yes, ah. sir. Come in. How are you doing? Hola, hola. 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 <laughs> uh, a year seven Spanish class. Um, so again, all the languages. And I, I talked a lot last night about the full range of subjects that students have and having students in year seven and eight access all of the arts, all of the humanities, the sciences, English, maths, and all of the languages is really, really important to me. So we can make informed decisions when we start to get to those GCSE option choices. Now. I'm going to hand over now to uh, Mrs. Pieri, who is our designated pastoral support for Year 7. Hello, I'm Mrs. Pieri, and I'm the pastoral lead for Year 7 and work closely with Mr. Cornell, Head of Year 7 and Leader of Transition. My role is to support your child's well-being and help them settle here at the child fonts. Your child will see me around the school, popping into classrooms and in the quad both at break, lunch and before school. I do duty every single day so that I can be reached at all times. I support with homework, logins, there are several platforms that we have to show my homework and any friendship issues, students begin to find their feet. I support the year leader with guiding students to make the correct choices. I am available for generally anything that your child may be concerned about. So on behalf of the pastoral team, we look forward to welcoming your child here at the Child Forms. I'm going to go here, I'm going to bounce, bounce. Um,
Right, so um, I hope that was helpful. Mrs. Pierre is fantastic and works very closely with our year sevens. Um, we've got our year eights now, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and dip into some year eight lessons. Uh, I think we might have a year eight maths class, so let's have a little wander on. Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. Let's have a little look. Oh. Hi, Mr. Hurst. Hello. Hello, year eight. So uh, that's a year eight maths class. And so this is the maths department, and Mr. Hurst is one of our specialist math teachers, which is, um, which is great. So let's have a little wander on further. Come on. And so this is another one of our year eight maths lessons. Hello, year eight. Morning, thanks, Mr. Pempe. And so, some lessons learning. What we're going to do now is we're going to continue. We're going to have a quite a long walk through the school, um, try and look at some technology, and get all the way down to where our year nines are within our science department. So let's continue walking. Oh, got a science lesson. So this is one of our science labs, and this is uh, our year 11 doing science uh, in one of our specialist rooms, which is really good. Well done. So let's go. Hi, miss. So let's carry on walking down the school corridor. Right, let's have a look at some technology. I can hear noise. So this room is our year 10 engineering. So when we get into GCSEs, engineering is a bespoke qualification alongside all of the other technologies that we can study. So let's have a little look. Hi, miss. Year 10? Okay. They're working away. Let's have a little look in some other rooms. Let's continue. Technology also has um, an IT suite, which is part of it. Again, designated sixth form room at this minute in time. We only use the sixth formers uh, in regards to social distancing and the sixth form bubble. See what else? And there. So we're going to we're making our way now. We're making our way down into uh, the Year Nine area, and the Year Nine area is all based in within the the, the science rooms. Um, so let's have a little wander down. So this is currently the downstairs area of uh, Year Nine, uh, and the, the downstairs area of science. Um, let's go in this one. Okay. So let's have a little look. Hi, Miss. A little, so this is a, a year nine maths lesson, and that's Miss Shaw. Right. She's our head of key stage three maths. Right, so we have two coordinates. What do we need to Again, it's in within the science area. We've got two designated PC rooms, which is used by in normal times by uh, lots of other subjects, and um, we have a, a really great block for science. Uh, what we're going to do now, we're going to pass over to our final clip. And this is our STEM video, which is going to be uh, some science experience and seeing our students at work.
Right, and that is the end. We're now back at reception. I hope it's given you a flavour of a school in action. Um, I'm genuinely sad that you aren't here today to, to join us. Um, hopefully that will be with you, will be with us very, very soon. Um, we've been into lessons, we've had a look around the school, we have been live, I'm sure there's been one or two technical glitches as we have been going around. But thank you for joining us and thank you for anybody that is joining, watching this um, as the pre-recorded link later today, this evening or whenever that might be. I wish you all well, keep safe and I hope to see you all very, very soon.